excluding the Ghana Education Trust Fund. The total allocations to the Ministry of Education for 2023 is 22.9 billion series. Of this amount, 2.7 billion, which represents about 12%, is devoted to capital expenditure. According to Executive Director of Education Think Tank, Africa Education Watch, Kofi Osari, allocation to the basic sector decreased by 43% from 292 million CDs in 2022 to 167 million CDs in 2023. A development, he says, threatens the efficiency in teaching and learning at the basic school level. There are thousands of schools that take place in major structures. The ministry posted at about 5,400 of schools taking place on trees and sheds and dilapidated structures. We also have about 4,000 primary schools without junior high schools. If you go to the northern region, the three and a half regions alone, 60% of primary schools do not have junior high schools. And this is a major cause of school dropouts within the basic education system. Now, all these are the result of infrastructure deficits in the basic. The only solution is to make financial commitments to build more schools and then provide more desks in schools. But we are not saying this on the face of the budget. If you look at the GET Fund allocation that we made, which is yet to be approved by Parliament, less than 19% of the GET Fund's allocation is going into basic education. Less than 19 percent for deputy ranking member on the education committee of parliament and MP for Bosa South, Dr. Clement Park. The cut in the basic education goods and services budget will impact on the release of capitation grant for business school heads. I have seen a document get funds outstanding commitments for the rest of 2022, it's just about three billion, and yet get fund is struggling to meet this commitment. For 2023, government is proposing to give Get Fund 1.8 billion. How is that possible? They cannot even meet their commitments for the year in question. And for the ensuing year, you are allocating a paltry 1.8 billion, when by law, Get Fund should be bagging not less than 4 billion, roughly, if we don't cap the allocation that is supposed to go to get fund. According to data from an education survey by Mastercard Foundation, across the African continent, the potential for a trade-off between free, basic, and secondary education is real due to resource constraints.